we integrate directly into the drive-thru and our conversational AI takes over the ordering process, turns it into an order and sends it to the POS inside. It's freeing up the staff on the inside to be able to process those orders better. You as a consumer, you're going to get your order correct more often. I mean, this evolution and this need of consumers to maintain, let's say, the benefits of all what they have learned online with the Amazon of the world, what they have learned with the Walmart of the world, but also the Netflix of the world, the YouTube of the world, where everything is personalized. This leads to Encounter.ai, the startup that you have co-founder. Tell us what he does in a nutshell. In a nutshell, we integrate directly into the drive-thru and our conversational AI now takes over the ordering process and it'll process their order for you as a consumer. So you pull up to the drive-thru, you say, hey, can I have a burger, two fries, a chocolate milkshake and a cup of coffee? Turns it into an order and sends it to the POS inside. Then you pull up, you submit your payment and you know you get your food from the people inside so essentially the you know value proposition there is it's freeing up the staff on the inside to be able to process those orders better and faster and allow them to focus on high value tasks you as a consumer you're going to get your order correct more often than you were before um, and faster but circling back to what we were just talking about is as our system gets to know you, it can now, instead of offering you uh, French fries, if you hate French fries, it now knows that it can say, hey, do you want some onion rings and, and whatnot? Like that's a simple example. But the idea being that's something that that's never been possible before. That's now possible of being able to understand you as a customer and offer you your favorite your favorite items. How does the customer interact with your system? It happens right at the drive-thru. So like I said, the, the key part about why we designed the product the way that we did is that for restaurants with a drive-thru, 70% of their transactions happen there. And also it's a voice-driven uh, transaction. And so we needed to be able to keep it as a voice-driven transaction and give that same experience. So from the customer point of view, it should be completely seamless from their experience that they've had for the past, you know, 30 years of going to the drive through So unlike, you know, conversational AI today, where you may have a chat file with your bank or with, you know, some other customer service agent, and it's on your mobile device and it's through text and you're texting back and forth, but it's with the AI chat bot and not with the person, um, for us, that just wouldn't work. And so we had to evolve the communication channel to make it work for this industry in particular. So we had to add voice to the mix and we had to also build it from the ground up as a multi-intent system. And the way conversational AIs work, they work based on intents. So if your intent is an order or your intent is a question or whatever, we needed to be able to make it multi-intent, not single intent. I guess the, the a good example would be, you know, in your Siri right now, if you said, Siri, you know, play me a song, it'll do that. But you can't say, play me a song and set an alarm, like in the same command. Like you have to break those two things up. And for us, that just wouldn't work. You need to be able to pull up to the drive through and say, hey, give me this, give me that, give me this, give me that, and say 10 different items and maybe throw in a question in there just as a curveball and it be able to process that whole thing at once and give you the information you need and process the order in the most streamlined way possible. So we had to, you know, build our conversational AI and build our natural language processing specifically for the drive through and not for any other application, because the way we communicate in the drive through is different than the way we communicate in any other space.